coming up are four training sessions to help you power up short climbs. It's pretty intense, so make sure you get warmed up first. The first session works on the basis that the more speed you carry into and up the first part of a steep climb, the faster you're going to get up it, even if you do begin to fade. For this session, we're going to do eight intervals on a climb that lasts about a minute. The steeper the climb, the better. Start each one with a 10 second sprint out of the saddle, then hold on as best as you can until the top or your imaginary finish line. And don't worry if your power or speed fades. In fact, if you do this properly, it should. Take a good three or four minutes of recovery, easy between each one, and a nice long cool down at the end. This one is a bit of a classic and it's designed to increase your power at VO2 max. So your power for about five minutes in duration. It's preferable, of course, to do this on a five minute climb if you have one near you, and it really is very simple. After your warm up, you're going to do six lots of five minute efforts on the climb. For this set of intervals though, you want to try and pace things to keep your power fairly even throughout each five minute interval. If you've got a power meter, you should be aiming at around 110% of your functional threshold power as an average for each one. Take five minutes of easy riding between each and then do your cool down at the end. This one is very simple and yet very effective and specific. You want to find a local loop which incorporates two short climbs per lap, each lap being around about 10 minutes long. Doesn't matter if they're slightly differing in length. In fact, that's probably quite a good thing. After your warm up, you're going to do five full laps. And on the first climb of each lap, you're gonna attack it as hard as you can from the bottom out of the saddle. And don't worry about fading. Then on the second climb of each lap, try to pace things in the saddle so that you've just about got enough left to do a 10 second sprint out of the saddle over the crest. Ride easy between each and get a good cool down in at the end. This one is for those of you who don't have a short climb nearby or you have to train indoors a lot. After our warm up, we're going to do a pyramid session. Start off with 30 seconds, then a minute, then one minute 30, two minutes, and then back down again until your seventh and final interval is 30 seconds. For each one, choose a gear that sees you pedaling at around 80 RPM for a hard effort, and then have three minutes of easy riding in between. Spinning is great on short climbs, but since they're often steep, that's sometimes not possible, even with compact gears and a wide range cassette. The lower RPM will also replicate better the kind of torque that you'll be experiencing on short, sharp climbs. I'm afraid to tell you that these sessions are not going to be easy. In fact, they're going to hurt but they should result in some fairly significant improvements in your performance over shorter climbs. Yeah, let us know how you got on with those sessions. And if you've got any sessions of your own, you can share those in the comment section below this video. And if you haven't already subscribed to GCN, which we hope you have, but if you haven't, you can do that by clicking on the globe and make sure you tell your mates too. Right, two more videos for you to watch right now. Over in the bottom corner down there is how to change gears like a pro, something very important to get right on short, steep climbs. And down here, Matt and I investigate how much difference body weight makes when you're climbing. Yeah, that was a good one, that one. It, it was. That was, yeah. Nice one, mate.